Hey guys, that's up to back with this week's video. So today we're going to talk about turtle shell rot, how to spot it, uh, or how to know how, if your turtle has it, and how in some ways to cure it. Um, so first of all, you want to make sure to prevent shell rot, you always want to have a proper basking light, a basking spot, which a basking spot is right there. Um, they need a place to get out and fully dry off their shell and you need a heat, heating bulb and a UV bulb which we'll get into in another video so to spot turtle shell rot which is which can be pretty bad for the turtle shell if you don't treat it right away so I will just say now if it gets to the point where it's very very severe and uh, you cannot cure with this method you need to take your turtle to the vet even if it's, a, even if it's gonna cost a lot you need to take your turtle to the vet so they can cure it before it's too late and uh, you can't repair your turtle shell at all. So my turtle doesn't want to cooperate, he just wants to run away. First of all, you're going to want to just inspect your turtle shells. This turtle does not have shell rot, thankfully. Um, you want how to look for shell rot is to see if your turtle shell has any white spots that are mushy. If you like press it, you can feel it squishing, It's it, that, that's not supposed to be there. You're supposed to see a fully healthy turtle shell. Like that. Um, you're supposed to see a fully healthy turtle shell like that. If you do not have that, you should check on the bottom too. The bottom will be pink and it will also be mushy. So once you find out if your turtle does have shell rot, um, then the first method you should do is heat up your water a little bit more so that you can increase their metabolism so they can fight it off and their metabolism will be helping them. What you can do is make sure you have a proper basking basking spot. If you don't, then get that in right away. And uh, really, that's all that you can do for them. You can make sure that they have a proper basking spot and they can get up in there and start basking, which will help their shell out a bunch. So this right here, this spot, is actually not shell rot. So don't worry about that. It's um, it's a little piece. I, I don't know. It, something got stuck on it. I just noticed it yesterday. I tried to brush it off with a light toothbrush, but that didn't work. So we're going to be taking him to the vet pretty soon. Him or her. I still don't know. Um, so yeah, that's really how you know if your turtle has shell rot. So let's let him run away. Come on. Um, okay, I just remembered. Another thing to tell you if your turtle shell is not healthy is to look at the, the uh, ending parts. And if you can bend them and they move, then your turtle shell is not healthy at all. If your turtle shell feels soft and it, it's just not developed and hard like it should be, then yeah, your turtle shell, there's a problem with it. Take it to the vet will be your best bet. So yeah, we wanted to make this a short video and if you have any questions or comments about what you heard in the, about what you heard today, please feel free to ask down below and I will try to get back to you as fast as I can. I do respond daily. So, yeah, if you have any questions, post them down below and comment, rate, and subscribe if you like the video. Bye, guys.